students welcome to my channel in this video we will be studying about the ESR spectrum of deuterium in the last class we studied about the ESR spectrum of the hydrogen atom now here we are looking into the ESR spectrum of isotope of hydrogen that is deuterium okay that can be represented by this H12 okay so H11 means it is an hydrogen this is an isotope of hydrogen okay we know that for this uh, deuterium the value of i is 1 okay what is i i is nothing but a nuclear spin okay for the deuterium the nuclear spin value is 1 while for this hydrogen what is the i value i is 1 by 2 okay i is what it is nothing but a nuclear spin or it is a spin of the nucleus okay now what is the s value s is the spin uh, it is having one unpaired electron that means it is uh, 1 by 2 okay s is equal to 1 by 2 for both hydrogen as well as deuterium as it is having only one electron right so it is having only one electron that means s value is 1 by 2 okay and ms ms means what it is a quantum number that is related to the spin right it is called as a uh, spin angular momentum quantum number right so this value is from minus s to plus s that means how many values are there uh, two values are there that is minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 okay these are the ms value for the deuterium and as well as for the hydrogen also okay and what is the mi mi means what it is a quantum number that is related to the nuclear spin right this is uh, from minus i to plus i so, what are the values are possible? Minus 1, 2 plus 1. That means uh, values are minus 1, 0 and plus 1. Okay, these are the MI values for the deuterium. Okay, there are 3 MI values are there. How to know that how many MI values are there? We know there is a formula to calculate the MI uh, values. That is 2I plus 1, right? We know I value is 1 for the deuterium. So, if you solve this, you will get 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1 is a 3. That means for the deuterium, we have 3 mi values. So, what are they? Minus 1, 0, plus 1. Okay, these are the 3 mi values possible for the deuterium. Now, what is the energy level diagram? Energy level diagram. Okay, in the last class, we saw the energy level diagram for the hydrogen. Okay, we had one electron for which ms value is minus half and plus half. Okay, this is ms is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. Okay, this is in the absence of magnetic field. Okay, h is equal to 0. In the absence of magnetic field, both the ms values will be degenerate. But if you apply the magnetic field, that means h not equal to 0. Okay, this is in the absence of magnetic field. Here, this is in the presence of magnetic field. Okay, what happened? The ms level is split like this. Okay, this is ms is equal to minus half. This is ms is equal to plus half, plus 1 by 2. Okay, this is happening in the presence of magnetic field. Okay, the two uh, degenerate ms level will split in the presence of magnetic field. And after that, what we need to consider? We need to consider the hyperfine or hyperfine splitting. Okay, what is hyperfine splitting? That I already explained in the previous video. Okay, that is in the ESR spectrum of hydrogen. I talked about what is hyperfine splitting. Okay, so here because of hyperfine splitting, what happened? Each MS level will further split. That is mainly because of what? interaction or coupling of the spin of the nucleus with the spin of the electron okay that is what we call hyperfine splitting now here uh, each ms level will split into how many level it will split into uh, split into three right it will split into three why because it depends upon the uh, mi values how many mi values are there now to that many level the ms level will split Okay, in the previous case, you had only two M MI value, that means the each MS level uh, split into two. Okay, here it is having three MI value, means the each MS level will split into three levels. Okay, this is uh, what we call the uh, hyperfine splitting. Okay, now what is the value of MI here? It is minus one. Here it is MI is equal to zero. This is MI is equal to plus one. 
and similarly here m i is equal to uh, sorry this is m i is equal to plus 1 okay 0 minus 1 and here m i is equal to minus 1 the m i is equal to 0 and m i is equal to plus 1 okay these are the 6 m i levels are there totally okay and we know that for the transition to occur okay for the transition to occur in the ESR spectroscopy we have a selection rule right so what is that selection rule called we have the selection rule that is delta ms okay delta ms should be plus or minus one and delta mi must be equal to what zero right this is the selection rule uh, for the ESR spectroscopy okay so now delta ms is equal to plus or minus one and delta mi equal to uh, zero or uh, just uh, 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 you know see this one and uh, see this energy level diagram and uh, tell me how many transitions are possible now in order to make delta mi equal to zero the transition should be from uh, this level and to this level right then only you get the difference of them is zero that is plus one minus one becomes zero and similarly the second transition will be this one and uh, this is the third transition so there are uh, two tra uh, three transitions are possible one two three okay there are three transitions possible okay what are the three transition write them okay the transitions from what mi is equal to plus one to mi is equal to plus one right this one mi equal to plus one to mi equal to plus one similarly mi equal to zero to mi equal to zero and we have mi equal to negative one to mi equal to negative one so these are the three transitions possible in a uh, for this deuterium okay and also in the last class i talked about the energy of the M, uh, ms as well as mi level now what's the energy for mi level in this case uh, before that i'll write the formula that we already written in the previous case that is uh, formula is m s g beta h plus a m s m i okay this is the formula to calculate calculate the energy of energy of m i levels okay energy of m i level is given by what m s g beta h plus a m s m i okay i defined all the terms here in the pre uh, previous uh, class okay what is a a is nothing but a hyperfine splitting constant right so now what you do is uh, you find the energy of all the six mi levels okay that means for the first level for the first mi level for the first mi level which is the first mi level i am talking about this one okay for this what is the mi value mi is equal to plus one and ms is equal to negative half right so mi is equal to plus one and m s is equal to minus half now substitute the values in this equation i call it as e1 okay e1 is equal to m s means what minus 1 by 2 g beta h plus a m s is minus 1 by 2 uh, m i is what m i is a plus 1 so what you get half g beta h okay minus minus a by 2 right you get this you for the uh, energy for this level okay similarly calculate the energy of this and this remaining five levels okay now these are the uh, energy of all the six levels okay just apply the formula okay that i have written earlier okay here i have written the formula here okay i what i did i just substituted what is the ms value and what is the mi value for the each level and i got the energy of the six mi level like this okay you can do that by substituting ms and mi levels in the uh, energy expression okay now let us see the energy required for the transition okay energy required for the transition we know that there are three transitions possible right so i just write delta e1 for the first transition and delta e2 for the second transition similarly delta e3 for the third transition now delta e1 means what for uh, which is the first transition is here uh, the 
first transition is this one second transition is this one and third transition is this one now what is the energy required for this transition how to get you have to subtract the energy of this level minus energy of this level okay what did i call this one i call this as e1 this is e2 this is e3 this is e4 this is e5 and e6 okay for the first transition what i need to do i have to subtract e4 minus e3 okay e4 minus e3 similarly for the second transition what i have to do i have to subtract uh, e5 minus e2 right and similarly for the tran third transition i have to subtract e6 minus e1 okay we know what is e4 e3 right so just to substitute them and find the value okay i'll just do here okay delta e1 is equal to e4 minus e3 what is e4 g beta h by 2 minus a by 2 okay this is e4 minus e3 minus g beta h by 2 plus a by 2 now simplify this one to get uh, delta e1 minus a by 2 minus minus become plus g beta h by 2 minus a by 2 so what you get you simply get uh, g beta h minus uh, minus a correct huh? g beta h by 2 plus g beta h is g beta h minus a by 2 minus a by 2 become a okay similarly calculate delta e2 okay subtract uh, uh, the energy of uh, fifth level minus e2 so see what you get you simply get g beta h okay do it by yourself you will get g beta h similarly if you do delta e3 you will get g beta h plus a okay this is the values uh, for the transition okay delta e1 delta e2 delta e3 okay this is the energy required for the first transition this is the energy required for the second transition and this is energy required for the uh, you know, third transition so you will get how many peaks in a esr spectrum you will get a three peak okay it is three peaks because you get a three transition so sorry you get three peaks in a esr spectrum now what is the difference between this peaks it is a okay in the previous class itself i explained it a means hyperfine spreading constant it is a separation between the two peaks okay this is the esr spectra of deuterium okay we get a three peaks or three lines in esr spectrum and the separation between the lines are represented by a hyperfine spreading constant Okay, if you have any doubt in this uh, uh, concept, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, thank you for watching.